underway in Portland for a spot in the Elite Eight. Coming up against the winner of our next game, Duke and UConn. And the pull-up is good for Jada Walker. They can play off the bounce, they can get in the paint, and they can invert their guards. There are your starting lineups brought to you by Capital One. This is something that Baylor is looking for. Dribbling out of the double to find the shooter, Sarah Andrews, weak side for three. Third year in a row, they have set a new school record. They have 250 triples on the year. And looking for a steal score again, Walker from Andrews. Gives Baylor an extra possession. Montleroy, that won't go. Little Page bugs big on the glass, and then the block. Juju's gonna try to get back to that right hand. They're going two-man game on the naked side right here with Marshall. What about that turnaround jump shot and one. That foul was on Fauntleroy on uh, the rebound, her first. Watkins off the bounce, hangs and hits. Prep National Player of the Year coming out of high school and now the National Freshman of the Year. Starring in her first season at SC, one on three, she'll keep, steps through and knocks another one down. In tight spaces, off the bounce. Oh, what a buzz there is around her in Los Angeles. Pull up is good from Little Page Bugs. Knocked out of bounds, 1.6 on the shot clock. I feel like I've seen all of those players play, and I have played against Cheryl Miller. Not that she would consider playing against me, but. <laughs> <laughs> she scored against you? Yeah. You played against yeah. her? Yeah. <laughs> the only four time, or excuse me, four year player that's been at Baylor all four of those years. Southern Cal's D is forcing Baylor into a lot of perimeter shots, a lot of jump shots right now. They're not getting anything in the paint. Marshall back out to Padilla for three. Look at that acceleration, Beth, into that handoff. Juju gets and to the right side of the floor and pulls up. And then stop on a dime. And that's what I'm talking about off the ball. That's only eight points in eight minutes on 50% shooting so far for Juju and her first appearance in the Sweet 16. And Edwards at the other end for Baylor. Pull up, transition three, good. Mackenzie Forbes, who's been on a tear of late, over 20 per game, her last four outings. Walker off the bounce and gets to the rim. She gets to her left hand. They have not needed to rely on her quite as much in the postseason for their success. And Forbes is a big reason why. A lot of misdirection for Lindsay Gottlieb. Nice screen and roll around and down. Inside for Clarice Akunwafo. Ten on the shot clock. She spins, finds some space, and knocks it down. Seems on the brink of a final four trip, even though they lost their best player, Rory Harmon, before Christmas. They've done an outstanding job coming, uh, coming back together. Edwards with the jumper. Is it that Edwards three? Dre Edwards does such a good job of moving without the ball, gets a piece of the paint, and then relocates to and the that perimeter. Nikki Collin wants her team to play with that she told Angel Gray. Shot blocked by Padilla. Forbes. Short, tried to tip it up and in, and it goes. She's been active. She's very athletic. Oh, look at the quicks right here. Oh, look at the convergence on the ball. Tied with Kelsey Mitchell, number two all time for a freshman scoring in a single season. Offensive rebound. And an easy two there for Southern Cal. And this is her defensive look. Watkins, nice back door, drops it off. I mean, for Marshall. Little page bugs. And she had the pull-up jump shot, and then she drove into the shot blocker. Oh, oh nice, nice move. Andrews splits and goes to the left. Timeout, USC. She reads the screen right here. Marshall steps up, but the split and high off the glass. Unbeaten South Carolina still in the field. Caitlin Clark still in the field for Iowa. And one of these two teams trying to Advance to the Elite Eight here tonight. Jay Johnson is one of the contenders for 
MOP of this NCAA tournament if she can keep it going. And of course, Clark messed around, almost got another triple-double tonight in their big win over Colorado. Jumper is good. They need to open that three-point door. It's been locked. 7-0 run for the Bears to tighten it up here. Final minute of the first half. Watkins blocked by Edwards, who came over to help. She'll give it up. Taylor Bigby. See, that's a terrible way shot. Off. And Padilla is able to clean it up. And Pushwood Walker is coming off that 28-point performance in the second round. Six points in the first half. Little page bugs, mid-range. That's what I mean about speeding the game up, Beth. There's a pass-through screen. She doesn't really like to bring a screen to the ball because she doesn't like two to the ball. But a nice find inside. Wide open for the lay-in for Caitlin Davis. That's a couple of the Ivy League transfers teaming up. They found a new home out west. Baylor's so good on their step-up screen actions. That's part of their quick hitter package in the Virginia Tech win. Keeps the dribble alive. The bounce pass to Blackwell for the lane. Off the screen, the roll, righty layup is good. That was a screen and roll, middle third. Walker, oh, tough find. And he's able to get it inside to Bugs. Back within a basket. Watkins, deep three. Got it. Two. Bugs off the bounce. Good. And a shake, a, a nod of her head. She is. Especially in the middle third. She's got eight already in this quarter. Watkins will try and follow a three with another one. Oh. 21 for Juju Watkins. Operating in space right here. You got one in the dunker spot, two in the corners. Not hot enough. The quick counter, Andrews. Sidestep three, and that's good. Six for eight to start out this second half for Baylor. Bears to be able to take a one-point lead here in the third quarter, Sarah Andrews. Bugs draws her on the switch. Nice drop off, and the lay in is good for Rhea Marshall. Not as demonstrative as some of the other big time scorers we see around the country is Watkins. All five starters for UConn, because of all those injuries, are playing over 30 minutes. Baylor, that was one. They didn't score. Probably not going to happen the next time down? Nope. I don't think so. Ooh, and a collision with Fauntleroy and Watkins. Taught her about toughness and about using that size to her advantage at times. Watkins off the fake. High arc on that shot. Offensive rebound. And then Edwards is able to haul it out of there. There's been a measure of toughness by Baylor here in the second half. And Andrew sticks the transition three, her second. The push, look how hard and wide. And they don't get matched up. 32% shooting in the first half, 66% in the second. Here comes some full court pressure. And Juju beats it the other way for the easy lay-in. Not a one-on-one. -on -one. Forbes into the lane, count it. This is an example of it right here. Icing ball screens, no help. Forbes with a great read and a finish and an and one up. So one of the big cogs offensively for Southern Cal is out. Andrews, three, good. Watch this right here. Here's the flare screen, then the pop. Her hands are ready, her feet are under her shoulders. and Final minute of this third quarter. Now you got to come with a little bit longer closeout on Edwards, which is going to change the space. Walker, 15-footer with the pull-up. Just two dribbles. Final 10 seconds. Walker again working on Padilla, weaving inside. Oh, somehow muscled it up and in. Nice turnaround in that third quarter for Baylor, and what a swoop to the bucket for Jada Walker. Watkins, shot blocked at the buzzer. 
13 to 4, Baylor run to end the quarter. One seed on the ropes. I don't think there was much strategy discussed in USC's huddle this time out. I think it was about the intangibles. Do you want to win or not? Freshman phenom in Watkins, who's helped change the story at Southern Cal, and Padilla gets the and one opportunity. Floor, you get the skip over the top, and then you attack the closeout, and Padilla USC in their ball screen coverage, and get a piece of the paint. Pomeroy. Good box out on the rebound from Marshall. That is her 14th of the night. Pull up three and transition for four. Wow. That's a quick trigger right there. They push. Nobody picks her up. A wide open opportunity. Triple. Now you see an active defense yes. by USC. Look how much their body language has changed on this end of the floor. So much better energy here in the fourth quarter. Marshall with her 15th rebound. Andrews able to take it away on the outlet. She'll go to the rim, blocked. This is a terrible pass by Padilla, and Andrews hanging around makes a great steal. Good recovery to be able to allow USC to set the loose ball. And now Walker. Again, the pace, such a big difference here in the second half for Baylor. Way off on the shot, but cleaned up on the glass. To the block. They also can shoot the three. They forced Watkins into seven for 25, shooting from the floor. Juju gets in the lane, forces one up, looking for a whistle. None coming. This step up screens. Walker, good. Under five to play and a one seed in trouble here in Portland. Spinning in the lane, going to the right hand for Caitlin Davis. I'd go right back to the same set if you can, because you know they're in drop coverage. That time it's a hedge. Oh, she's getting to her spots, Beth. She's getting to her spots. Juju going to work on the smaller defender, drops it off inside, picks up the assist. She's touched it, she's passed it. She trusts her teammates. Walker on the drive. Williams able to bother the shot. Here comes Juju the other way. One on two, Watkins to the right side. Counted and a foul. You are not gonna, gonna knock Juju Watkins off her line. Watch this right here. Her shoulders stay parallel. To it's paid off the last two trips. Now defending on Walker up top. Andrews blocked by Juju, who keeps it alive and gets it to a teammate. Andrews gets a clean look and knocks it down. Keep him on one side and active hands. That's Andrews making plays at both ends for Baylor here. Cross screen action here. 10 3 run over the last three and a half minutes for and Southern Cal. There's, there's the, the inbound to Edwards. There's the cross Back screen. to Andrews looking for three. Banks it in. This is very well done. She sets the screen, then she comes right over for the handoff. Excellent execution and she'll. And that'll do it. Southern Cal will fight on.